All right, here we are today at Edge Performance. Today we're working with a stock Rotax 912 IS. We've got it connected on our dyno. We have a customer that sent this engine in looking to get a power increase. So before we do what we do, we want to get a baseline on the stock engine and see where it's at. So let's see what type of power we can make. Okay, so now that we have the engine all heated up, we're going to make a dyno sweep from 3000 to 5800 RPM, so here we go. There's our number, 102.5 horsepower. Okay, so now that we've completed multiple runs of the stock 912 IS, let's have a closer look at the dynograph that we have in front of us. The engine was fitted with an Akrapovich titanium tuned uh, exhaust system and also had a um, air intake system up in the cold stream. So 102 horsepower is a fair number and that's what we'll use when comparing numbers and comparing data to the next tests. Okay, so now that we have installed the big bore kit and performed the proper braking procedure, let's compare the actual numbers. The red lines represent the stock 912 IS, while the black lines represent the IS with the big bore kit fitted. To start off with, let's notice that both the air fuel ratio and manifold pressure are near identical, which ensures a very fair comparison data. The IS engine with the big bore kit fitted puts out 109.9 horsepower, which is a solid increase of 8 horsepower over the stock engine. Also worth noticing is the solid increase in both torque and power between 4000 and 5500 RPM. Although peak power is only 8 horsepower more, torque and power curve in the usable cruise RPM range increased quite a bit. So now that the cat is out of the bag, let's look at some other comparison data. Here we can see the 912 IS in its stock configuration compared to a Rotex 912 ULS with our EFI kit added. Right away we can see that the peak power of the 912 ULS with EFI is a whopping 9.5 horsepower greater than a stock 912 IS. At cruise RPM the performance is rather equal. But the fact that the 912 EFI is 8.5 kilograms or 19 pounds lighter 
and they both cost about the same, it becomes an even more interesting result. So how does the 912 IS compare to an EP915 ECI, which is basically the same engine, just 8.5 or 19 pounds lighter? The EP915 makes 123 peak horsepower. Again, we are running the same AFR values and manifold pressure, ensuring fair data comparison. Once past 5000 RPM, the EP915 greatly outperforms the 912 IS with big bore kit. While the 912 IS power curve rolls over at 5600 RPM, the EP915 still has an increasing power trajectory. And lastly, just for fun, here are two graphs showing how power would be affected if either lane A or lane B would fail during flight. And as we can see, we're losing about 4-4.5 four, four horsepower, which isn't anything of great concern when flying. So that was all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative, and we'll see you in the next one.